In the political arena, recent recommendations of the President's Council, a multiracial and widely representative advisory body, will have significant long-term effects. The South African white electorate, for instance, voted overwhelmingly on November 2, 1983, to reform the country's constitution to include the colored and Asian population in Parliament. Nation by nation, community by community, the political aspirations of the various peoples that make up South Africa and the national states are being accommodated. Full parliamentary independence has been a reality for several years in the black republics of the Transkei, Bofutatswana, Siskai, and Venda. Administrative autonomy is in effect in the six self-governing national states of KwaZulu, Leboa, Gazankulu, Kwakwa, Kangwani, and Kwandabeli. The leading political figure in South Africa is Prime Minister Peter Bwetta. According to Mr. Bwetta, a new basis for national unity has been established upon which evolutionary reform accompanied by stability can be built. Once reform is started, reform will father itself, it will feed itself. And you can no longer stop at a particular phase. It will be an ongoing thing. Well, first of all, change is inevitable. We've got to change because of the shortage of skills and just because of the country we're living in and the requirements of this country. So we will have to adapt to change. There will have to be opportunities for everybody that lives in the country. And those opportunities are already existing, as a matter of fact. For the first time, there is a real direction in which we are moving. And for that matter, I'm very confident that if we are given the chance, if this people in this country is given the chance, that we will go places. We believe that the future is sound economically and in terms of our community, we, are, we have a sense of belonging and of purpose. We are safe, in other words.